When I was 13, I told my mom I was ready to be famous, and she laughed at me. <laughs> she just, she was scared. She didn't want me to be famous. And I was like, I want an agent. And she's like, no, you need to do shows first. Why don't you start performing? So I contacted every coffee house in every Washington when I was 13. And I was like, do you need an in-house musician? And uh, most of the time, they're like, no. <laughs> I called the Starbucks near my house. And the manager was like, why don't you play every Friday night from 6 to 8? I can't pay you, but you can leave your guitar case open. I played there for three years until I was 16 every Friday night. It taught me so much about performing and writing. I've been working at this full time as an artist for about three years. And prior to that, I was working like three jobs. I was bartending. Music for me was like, I wanted to see if I could make it as a performer, but I didn't really believe that it was gonna happen for me. Because I have such a strong point of view and I'm really stubborn and I know exactly what I wanna talk about. It's not in pop culture to want to talk about gay rights or domestic abuse or body image. I like that it's gold right over there. Like it's like kind of cloudy all over here and then it's just gold right there. Same love with Macklemore and Ryan for me was the was the moment where I was like women of all demographics are singing She Keeps Me Warm and being touched by it. It was at that moment where I was like, I can do this. I can have all of these messages that I care very deeply about in a pop setting, and it's gonna resonate with people. It's so pretty. It's different for everybody, authenticity, but I think it's something that's burning inside of you that you have to get out, and telling your story in an honest way and when the music's concerned and what I want out there, I have to make sure that I'm stripping away the vanity or the ego. You know, the earth moves and there's tectonic plates and it's usually okay, but sometimes the friction causes an earthquake. And sometimes I have little earthquakes, you know, realizing the depth of what this is and how heavy some of this can be and how my life is constantly shifting. I want to do it right and have an impacting message.